PE teacher Rob Hepworth. Yes, that was you in that clip. In case people are confused, that was with the beard. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. I have de-aged. I'm five years younger today. Oh, do you think the beard makes you look older? Do you think it looks younger? I don't know. I'm not sure. What do you think, Lisa? Um, I think it makes him look more sinister. Oh. Well, Lisa should know because Lisa <laughs> uh, Farad is with us now. Former police officer yourself. Yes. That's why I'm asking you, because you're used to identifying people and all that stuff. <laughs> and you were you were advising along the line. Sarah Lancashire's character, uh, right. in amongst other things, about police procedure. Yeah, I think I, I, I work very closely with Sally from the very early stages of the script development. Um, and then once those scripts are locked in, work with Sarah um, to do, who quite clearly develops the role of Catherine Kaywood all on her own, but um, she's uh, just phenomenal as our Sally scripts. Well, well we saw... Goes... Sorry, go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to say, because it's, it's kind of a little bit more than that, because it goes <laughs> back to when you were very young and at school, Yes. this relationship you have. Can you explain? Um, Sally and I were at junior school together. Um, we, uh, you know, were good friends as, as children. I then moved out of the area. Um, no mobile phones, no social media, nothing. We didn't even have a phone in our house. And... So many years later, a mutual friend reconnected us um, when Sally had this, I want to make this drama about a policewoman. And she wanted to find out, talk to a policewoman. Yes. And then yeah. did she... So when you kind of reconnected, I'm not going to say was it like old times because you were like little kiddies then, yeah. but you clicked and... Yeah, it was just like going straight back into the way we were um, when we were younger, yeah. Just that... Can, chemistry together again. One of the, the joys of Happy Valley, and I'm going to ask you this one first, is, is that in amongst the big storylines, you, you, there's that sense of what goes on behind closed doors, about, you know, what you don't see, and little storylines that police officers maybe, I don't know what your experience was, you get to know things that aren't necessarily major crimes, but what happens in people's lives. Is that part of your experience you brought to it? Yeah, I, I, Sally's really good at defragging a brain, a bit like the way you defrag a computer. And she writes things down and she builds this character. Um, but you do, we sit and chat uh, before the scripts are, de are done, um, talk about all sorts of elements of, you know, what it's like, how would you deal with this? You know, even if it's something that's a personal issue, how would you deal with that? Um, and she brings it to life on the page. Um, Mark, just we saw that little scene a moment ago, which was uh, when Sarah Lancashire's character comes in. We're not going to go into plot lines because some people may not have seen it. Yeah. But Sarah Lancashire is a formidable actress, and this is an amazing role, which is brilliantly written. What, I mean, is it an, a naive question to say, what's it like when you play the scene and there you are? Uh, how is that? How is that? Well, yeah, it's it's a difficult spell to break, if you like. I mean, I made the mistake of. I'd re-watched all of series one and two leading up to my first day of shooting, with, which was with Sarah. Uh, and so the, the night before, I'd literally turned my TV off with her on the screen. And then the next day, I walked in, and that formidable character was stood in front of you. And it was a really difficult spell to break, because Sarah, she's got this amazing ability to be able to carry all of the weight of those two series and everything that's going on. And she just plugs in. Uh, and all of a sudden, you're this character who's supposed to be squirming under her, her guise, in a way. And it wasn't difficult to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was she, for real. She is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's incredible how she could just click in like that. And, yeah, for me, it was, it was amazing to be working opposite her. She's also a wonderfully generous person. I was going to say, I, I mean, it, she wasn't horrible to you. She no, did, she... gosh, no. <laughs> I mean, within the confines of yeah. the script, you have to be. Yeah, both of our, where the, we've got... A, friction between our two characters and our storylines but we have to find that quite quickly but no with Sarah it's nothing but generosity and being able to find those things outside of the realms of the story it's really really important and oh, you're, you're, you're describing some of the, the like the tension between your two characters yeah